Hey everyone, WolfyCast here with a very quick video. I just want to go over the patch notes that were actually given on release. Now, a lot of people actually don't know that the game even had a patch, like balance changes. Uh, but you can actually find that by navigating to the Steam store page for the game and scrolling down until you find the news section that brings up the patch notes. And then you can just scroll down a little bit and read them over yourself. But I'm just going to go over them super quickly. To start off, the patch notes say jump attacks reduce stamina cost from 25 to 15. This is a reversion almost true to the original Gigantic. Uh, original Gigantic, the jump attacks actually only cost 10 stamina to use. And then in the uh, in the you know beta tests earlier in the year, they actually made it 25 and now they are down to 15. So a little bit of a happy medium, but overall still a nerf next up is beckett her smart grenade upgrade no longer pushes enemies on direct hits it just explodes instantly but the tear gas upgrade now applies a cancel on hits kind of near basically near the immediate location of the grenade when it explodes it'll apply a cancel and then the tier two lingering fumes now applies uh, now applies a daze effect when it directly hits so if you throw it Kind of, again, the immediate space where it lands briefly dazes for one second. The cooldown of HK's Mortar was increased from 12 seconds to 13 seconds when it was used. And also unlisted in the patch notes, HK can no longer perform dodges while fortified. So in an older build, you were able to dodge left, right, and backwards. While fortified up, you no longer can do that. For Amani, it says her right mouse button slightly reduced damage fall off distance, which is an overall buff because it means that you can be still doing max damage uh, even if you are further distances. You're 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 still going to be able to do max damage even if you're further off. Yeah, the damage evolve doesn't even start until I'm all the way over here, so that's an overall buff for her. It also says combat sniper. The damage, uh, the attack speed boost was reduced from 20% to 10%. So she fires slightly less as often with each attack. Also for Imani, it says the day's reduction of her skill 3. I believe this might be a, a misprint because there actually is no days on her Q on and any upgrade either side. So I'm I'm wanting to believe this is actually meant to say skill four because there is a day's upgrade on the left side here. But this day's reduction was reduced from one second to half a second. So enemies that are in there when the explosion occurs, the day's reduction is halved. And then there is a talent as well on skill three, which should say skill four. Uh, the damage reduction... The major weakness is now 30% instead of 50%. And this tooltip still does read that it says 50%, but it is in fact just a 30% weakness. For Team at her LMB, it says increase the damage fall off. The max distance was increased to 50 meters, up from 40. And the damage at max distance is now reduced all the way down to 25% instead of just 50. So what this means overall is that she can be slightly further away before uh, the damage is fully reduced. But if she is 50 meters or further, her damage is reduced by down to a quarter. So this is a this is a pretty big nerf for long distance, uh, long distance team at shots. Also on her skill one, the firecracker upgrade, the uh, the armor crack duration is reduced to one second instead of two. So enemies that are burning and you apply that. Cracked armor, only one second. It also says slightly reduced homing of missiles, which will be her right mouse button. And then in parentheses, it makes says making it a bit easier to avoid them. Uh, I personally have not really noticed a difference, but what I would like to imagine that this means maybe perhaps they don't follow quite as accurately, like maybe around corners or uh, through or around, you know, middle of map terrain. But I, I again, I haven't really fully noticed a difference. Also for Team At, the booster pack upgrade, the movement speed bonus is now only 10% instead of 15%. And the tier two defense boost upgrade now gives you armor for uh, only five armor instead of 10. 
And finally, the overall damage of her focus has been reduced by roughly 20%. Trip's secondary Q activation now applies a cancel on hit, which is a big buff for her. And Taito's focus also now applies a cancel on hit. However, the tooltip does not show that it applies a cancel, which is hopefully something that they will fix very soon. Wu's clash talent for his E, Tongue Tied, now changes it from a pull to a daze, the one second daze, instead of exchange, uh, increasing the range. Now, this tooltip does still read that it increases the range, but it no longer does. It just applies a daze on hit. Zenobia's Q, much like Trip, now applies an interrupt on hit. And finally, for Zandora, the range of her RMBQ and E auras have increased to 5 meters, or sorry, increased to seven meters from five meters and now last four seconds each instead of three and overall her focus gain has increased by roughly 20 percent and that's all the changes thank you for watching